<laughs> a four-headed monkey. A four-headed monkey? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. I have a semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. That'd probably be a life. shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Oh, so we're gonna have to try and get the shred of life from LeChuck and sacrifice that one instead? That would be good. Ever since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this guy, Brush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Le Fay in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yes. Okay. Um, Demon Bride. I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a Demon Bride of LeChuck! Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Uh, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sass. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa, you don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait, I believe you. Ah, oh, man. Okay, now we shall get the feathers that we needed. Feather. A tiny touch. Yep. Gross. Okay. Um, hold on. Actually, we can actually get this open now. Oh, what a surprise. It's locked. Here's our thing to pick lock it. Okay, pick it. Like somebody some... was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah! Oh, you're back again. doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is... careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, what the hell is that? Okay, what the hell is that thing? Belt buckle. It's the belt buckle that Chuck wore when he was human. Funny how a smiling face always seems trustworthy, even on a skull. Okay, so what's that one for then? Okay, let's see if we can get this thing off him. We need so it. it turns out that I actually need a secret to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Can I take it? No, you can't even steal it. It has to be shared with you. Okay. Okay, so share it with me. I don't know, friend. You don't seem like the kind of person I can trust with a secret like this. Sure I am. I still haven't told anyone that Elaine waxes her upper lip. Oh, ah, shoot. But you're a thief, friend. Everyone knows you can't trust a thief. Okay, so maybe we use this? 
Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? Yeah. I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. And can you give me the secret? This is nice. Where'd you get... Ah. Okay, that was oh. not one I wanted. But the secret. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Nothing. Okay, can I leave without him taking it from me? Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Okay, that was easier than I expected. It would be like really hard to get that. Um, okay. I need to shrink La Esponja Grande with this voodoo spell. Seen any of these items around? I outgrew scavenger hunts long ago. And normal sized pants, apparently. Hey, I have a smashing idea. You're in a bar that's literally built out of random sea flotsam. Maybe you should take a look around. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Okay, got that. <laughs> okay. That okay. pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. Oh, he took the charm. Okay. At least I still got the secret. That's fine. Hmm. Hold on, Threefoot. The Chuck may still be out there somewhere, waiting to skewer us all. Until this crisis blows over, the only safe places on Flotsam Island are my club and my jails. Still on your Okay, I didn't actually want to go there, but... You can make fun of me and punch me about all you want, LeChuck. You're right, I can. Hey, shoot. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I actually didn't want to go there. I was going to try and get up the stairs. Oh, there's... Ah, there we go. Blindfold. That's why I need for sight. I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Ho oh, ho ho, that rock rib! Always good for a laugh! Okay, so that one's for the sight. Awesome. Okay, so what do I need? Diet of the senses. Like... Oh, I wonder if we can use the deodorant. Old Brute. The pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. Uh, could that be used for the smell, maybe? Not quite sure. It's those game props. I guess he gave up on it. Let's go down into the ocean, I guess. Oh, the fishing net. We can actually grab that now. Oh, we can use that to A get the thing. Ah, now I know how to get the parrot things, because I can use the fishing net. Okay. Finally, I can get those buggers. Looks like Dekava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Dekava was so lucky. Okay, so, um... Not quite sure what the smell is, not unless I go with the deodorant. I wonder if the guy's Hello? still in there. I just thought you'd like to know that Van Winslow is leading an attack on LeChuck as we speak. Oh, so valiant. I await his triumphant return. I'm trying to put together a voodoo spell to... You get away from me with that voodoo stuff. What if LeChuck can sense it and it leads him right here? I don't think it works that way. But I'm playing it safe anyway. What did Winslow's note say? It was a lovely haiku. That man can say so much with such few words. I've always found him a bit long-winded. Only in his ability to hold his breath. Oh, 
Okay, kind of disturbing. I'll be back later. Be careful. Okay, so I'll probably go and get those freaking parrots now, finally. I wanted to get them for ages. Okay, let's use our fishing net. Finally get them. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. They're like tiny, annoying, golden mosquitoes. Okay. We can put them in a jar. No, hold on. Do. Yeah, combine it. Okay, there we go. Hey right, guys, I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Okay, there we go. Um, last one is smell, I'm mm. guessing. Diet of the senses. Okay, so. Secret. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Okay, I just want to check that. This is the smell one, hopefully. Like the smell yes, it is. The after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fight okay. odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Okay, awesome. I've got all of them then. Okay, so that's two. And then next is the parrot ones. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. Three. Blindfold. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. Yep, so that's number four. And chewing gum. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. There you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Okay, and the last one is the fella. Here's a gummo. A light touch for an appetizer. Stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Uh-oh. I hope that's not an ingestion. Okay, now she's shrink down now. Yay! There they go, sponge. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, hello, Elaine. We finally got you back. Don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guy brush? How? The voodoo lady. She brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guy brush. But without her, attack, my fishy friends! Yay, mad people! Time to rescue you! Hit him with the old backward sea slug! Ah, enough of this! Oh, that is not good. This be going on far too long! Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks, and gum! Yes! Hey, thank you, Elaine. That's my Laney Poo. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. I uh, know, thank you. Whoa! Oh, you go be kidding me. A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, oh my spirit! <laughs> Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo-stealing bunchback toad! Yay. Oh, Morgan? <laughs> it's got light. Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, 
We can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? Look out! I'll be back for you, lass. <laughs> sure you will. I like how he just got owned by two girls. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, Ooh. Ow. all that pain, all that suffering. Now just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, sorry, board. Ow. Guy brush. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. A sail filled with the ill winds of. Oh, oh, forget it. All this getting punched in the face is leaving me feeling unmetaphoric. Okay, let's go on the rope. <laughs> it's down to the wheelhouse. Okay, is there a way we can... Oh, but Chuck, okay. Oh, you've kidnapped Elaine, you've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll, you've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the draw! And I'm back down. Okay, just going to talk to Elaine quickly. Wonder Bunny! Pick a Rooney! Um. Attack LeChuck! I'm on it, sweetie. Heh, <laughs> one of them's got like one, one of the rubber tubings that you use in the pool. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh god, that's funny. Lanikins! Creepy! <laughs> He's kind of like a, whatever that is, like a turtle or whatever. Whatever happens, you've got to stop the Chuck while he's between worlds. Promise me you won't give up and become his bride again. Don't talk like that. I love you. Promise me. I promise. Oh, and he's back again. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting the hole for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice plug of grog. Oh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Uh, we're going down. <laughs> Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Okay, <laughs> we need to find a way to get out. Okay, we'll get the rusty sword. And... Gentlemen, I quite honestly feel your pain. Can I get oh, a sword? Looks like that sword's been here for a while. It'd be useless as a weapon. Uh... Yeah, but it'd be great to cut the thing off. Oh, looks like that sword's been. Okay, never mind. Oh, what about? Ooh, gentlemen. I... Ow! Okay. You bastard. <laughs> Oh, he had keys. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so when we go back down, I don't have to grab him. I'll probably need that for something. Ah, we enjoy our little swim. <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Whoa! <laughs> can be not quite badly. Okay, I can't actually move from here. <laughs> There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> we'll talk to Elaine again. <laughs> Oh, we can stop the Chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. 
I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Okay. It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of you barnacle brains? Okay, we're going back up again.